to Facebook as violations of their policy. And which policy were you violating? They won't tell me, but I'm now we we the Smith Radio is now banned for three days again. We're on super secret probation for three days. Was it a C SPAN clip? Because if it was, you're allowed to use that. Yeah, it was C SPAN. You're, All my clips come from the news. Nobody ever banned. Well, no, but like if you took a clip from Fox News, that might be. A I've got tons of Fox News clips on. Well, on if it's page. from C-SPAN, that's completely open source. I'm just so telling you right now. C-SPAN is a uh, public can, public station. Cruise supporters, y'all done going crazy. The ones that are complaining that I put up cruise thing, I put up negative Trump things too. I put a negative everything. But the fact that you don't like a clip of Cruz saying, I don't do it with a goat. And he really is saying that. But it's taken it out of context, though. Well, that's the part he said. He did say it, didn't he? <laughs> My, your point is, is that uh, it's been taken down because of complaints from Cruz people. Yes. Who else would complain? Yeah, they need to stop that. This that's is, insanity. That's anti, anti uh, 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 freedom first, of speech. Yeah. And not only that, but on Facebook, there's nobody to protest to. Facebook is an empty hole. I got speaking of anti First Amendment, I got one for you. So uh, going really quick, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. Going back to the Second Amendment, con- cruise supporters point to Trump thinking that you have to carry a permit is un- unconstitutional. All right, he think. I, he, they said he's he's unconstitutional. Read the Constitution. I said, okay, what, what's uh, what's un, unconstitutional about Trump? Well, he thinks you have to have a permit to carry uh, a, a weapon. That's unconstitutional. So I thought about it in a second. I thought, wait a minute. Thinking that thoughts of any kind is unconstitutional is actually anti-First Amendment. So the fact that you are uh, bashing Trump for thinking. For thinking. Dude, you got problems. That's thought yeah. police. Right. That's anti First right. Amendment. Right. And that goes back to Trump not running for the legislative branch. He's not running for Congress. He's not running to make laws. No. He's just going to be the CEO uh, of the federal but, government, which we know he's going to freaking mop up. He's going to mop up on that and, job. And so this has also gone cruise crazy. It is now rampant on Facebook where cruise supporters are putting up fake delegate sheets. Oh, I did, yes. That say it's a Trump delegate when, when it's actually, actually a Cruz yes. delegate. Yes. So Sean Hannity came out with the dele- the official delegate sheet for Pennsylvania because I think that's what's... Well, the that's Pennsylvania what, thing. Uh, that's what's being trying to be There stolen. was a Trump supporter that said, circulate this sheet... Uh, because uh, we need people in Pennsylvania to know who to vote for for delegates. And immediately, well, I clicked on it, and it said uh, tweet deleted. So I was like, uh, dude, your tweet is no longer there. Hello. So I scrolled down, and I'm reading all the responses. Sure enough, there were people saying, take that down. That's the wrong sheet. The cruise supporters are putting up lists of cruise delegates and labeling them Trump delegates so that Trump people, the Trump people in Pennsylvania will elect unknown, unbeknownst to them, elect Cruz delegates in place of Trump delegates. How does that make you feel? It's got to make you feel dirty. You got to go and scrub with a, with a wire brush in a shower right now. Go get like dirty. Go get an SOS pad. (laughs) It's dirty. And, and put some, uh, yeah, the the bathroom cleaner SOS. You you can get it in a can. Oh, the, oh yes, the, the yeah. whatever the that scour is. Scour down. Yeah. yeah. So so let, let's explain really quick how this delegate thing works, which is why it's so convoluted. I did not write this in my notes. I have to just it's coming off the cuff to you people. All right. So this is how Colorado happened, and there's a lot of states that do this. Real quick, let me, we we live in Ohio. Uh, I learned something about Ohio this week that uh, it's going to be news to Brian, I believe. Uh, it was news to me when I learned it. So here's how Ohio works. Ohio has delegates all over the place coming out the yin-yang. All right. Some delegates are Trump supporters and some delegates are Cruz supporters and some delegates are Kasich supporters. Right. And how many delegates do we have total? Like uh, 66 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So Ohio has 66 delegates. All right. 
when the primary happens and Ohio voters vote for who they want to be the nominee for the GOP, the delegates are not set yet. Okay. We first have to find out who wins the states. And Ohio is a winner-take-all state. As soon as we found out that it was not Trump, those delegates that we know personally right. that are Trump supporters, they are no longer delegates. They are done. When Kasich won the primary, all those delegates, all those slots, there's 66 slots, each one gets a delegate, they're filled with Kasich supporter delegates. And Kasich will not get the nomination. Um, right. But on the first ballot, all those delegates have to vote for Kasich. They're okay. bound. But check this out. They're all Kasich supporters. They're not Cruz supporters. Or Trump supporters. They were put in there as Kasich supporters because he won the primary. Okay. So every vote from here to kingdom come... They're all going to vote for Kasich, even in the second ballot, third ballot, fourth ballot, tenth ballot, because they're Kasich supporters. The only exception would be is if at some point in the uh, the chaos at the convention, Cruz or Trump can give them a large enough duffel bag to come over after the first uh, vote. But they're all Kasich supporters at this point. They will have to be – well, first of all, they have to vote for Kasich in the first ballot, all right? Right. After that, they're going to vote for Kasich because they support him. It's going to take a lot of coaxing from non-Kasich people to get any of them to cross over after the first ballot because okay. they're all Kasich supporters. Right. So the Cruz supporters that we know – I'm sorry, the Trump supporters we know that were supposed to be delegates, they're not delegates anymore. Because Kasich won. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So the two that we met, right. they are not they, – they can go to the convention maybe if they want to, but they're not delegates now. They were only going to be delegates if Trump won because they're Trump supporters. All right? That's Ohio. Now let's fast forward to Colorado. Here's how Colorado works, which is why it was stolen – not illegally, but you know how it was. How it ended up it was dirty. It uh, was. It was. And and Cruz is saying, uh, learn the rules, play by the rules. Okay, that's fine. But um, you know, you, you're making up pl plays, like stepping out on the field at the twenty yard line. Well, that's. N but there's no rule set. I can't do that. All right. So here's yeah, how. But, the, but we're talking about. A, f a fair match. Right. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Let me, let's talk about how Colorado did it. So back up to 2012. In 2012, Santorum won Colorado. So they all show up to the um, convention. Mitt Romney has already trounced everybody. He has more than the minimum 1,237 ballots. Because Colorado's um, delegates were all bound to Santorum, they felt like they weren't even involved. They felt like they didn't matter and nobody cared about them. Right. So they changed the rules. They want to matter. They want to be somebody. They could have been a contender. They <laughs> could have been a contender. So, which by the way, I watched that movie for the first time last week. Wow. Yes. Such okay. a great movie on the waterfront. So they could have been a contender. So they said, you know what? Let's be a contender. They changed their rules for 2016. To make it so that none of their delegates are bound. Okay? That way, they'll they'll matter when they get to the, the they'll convention. Feel, they'll feel like they mean something. Okay, so when they go to the convention, they can, they can vote for anybody. Right, but after they canceled their primary, which doesn't make any sense. The, the reason, I, that may be unrelated, the right. canceling of the primary. They decide, okay, so all of our uh, delegates are unbound, but they can be filled by whoever w wants to fill them. And, and so Cruz filled. went in and filled them all with Cruz supporters. Correct. So now they're all going to go and they're all going to vote for Cruz at the convention. And they're people in Colorado 
No, when they go to Cleveland. Right. right. So everybody in Colorado who's not a Cruz supporter is like, what? Live what is it. Going? Yeah, they're pissed. They're really mad. Well, because it, it, the wool got pulled over their eyes in uh, August. After Trump announced he was running in June. By August, the GOP and the dirty deeds in the back door, uh, this was from Breitbart, their motive was from Breitbart. They think their motive was because Colorado usually in the past went for the wild dog, the non-establishment, you know, the, the guy that didn't really conform. That's mm -hmm. what Colorado usually went with. And that All was right. Santorum. Okay. And so they wanted to, they wanted to stop that. They, yeah, want, they, they want to matter. They, they want to matter. Right. So what they did is, oh, you want to matter? Okay. We'll get you to matter. Here's how this is going to work. And they didn't know it. They got the wool pulled over their eyes. Right. They, they, they failed to anticipate the problems that are going to come by, by changing the rules to what they are now. Now, there's other states. Uh, I believe Pennsylvania is a really wild one. Yeah. In Pennsylvania, and um, I can't remember the exact uh, delegate count that they get, but it's pretty big. O if you win the state, you only get 17 delegates, and all the rest of them are are um, are open to be uh, elected by the people in Pennsylvania. Oh. So here's how it works. This is crazy. You have to know, because when, when you go and vote for delegates, that's what you do in, in, uh, in Pennsylvania's primary. Right. You vote on who you want to be the nominee, either Trump, Cruz, or Kasich. And then you have to vote for which delegates you want to represent you at Cleveland. So you have to know who they like. Oh. Right? Well, check right. this out. Who they like or who they prefer is not on the ballot. See, somebody somebody told me that that's actually illegal against the rules, the the RNC rules. It's illegal if they make it known who they're going to support. Oh no, they they've all come out. Most of them. Some of the delegates have really con like not convoluted, but um, uh, for instance. Some delegates say, hey, I'm a Cruz guy, all right? Uh, so if you want Cruz to be uh, elected as our presidential nominee, vote for me in Pennsylvania, and I will pledge to vote for Cruz. So if you like Cruz, you would vote him to be your delegate, all right? But right. that's not – and then there might be another one that's a Trump guy that's like, I'm going to vote Trump no matter what, all right? But – a lot of them will say, I'm going to vote for whoever won the whole state the first on the first ballot. Okay. So there's a lot of them that say that. Vote for me, and I'll vote for the winner of the state on the first ballot. You know what? I'd say the same thing. But they may say, I'm going to vote for Cruz every time after that, or I'm going to vote for Trump every time after that. So maybe it's okay to vote for him because even though you may lose him on the first ballot, you're going to get him for every ballot after that if they pledge to vote for that person. Right. But the, the, the moral of the story is you have to really know what the intentions are of each of these delegates, and there may be hundreds of them. Right. So that way, Well, like in Colorado, there was over 600 plus. Right, but in, in Pennsylvania, you only vote for your precinct. So okay. even though there's a whole bunch of precincts with a whole bunch of total delegates, you're only voting for your precinct. Okay. All right. But there are 17 that are bound to the winner of the state no matter what. Okay. All the rest of them depend on whether or not you're elected in your state, in your precinct, by the people who are going to vote in the primary in Pennsylvania. So that is why we are trying to um, – uh, circulate through Twitter and Facebook the list of the proper people to vote for in Pennsylvania. Right. So Cruz supporters have caught on to this. Yeah, and Cruz is trying to do the double double. What do they call it? A uh, uh, like a double agent. Uh, you know. Yeah. They're they're trying to, to double double double. They're trying to get people who might want Trump to vote for well, but, delegates who are actually going to vote for Cruz. And if that is. There's no rule that says he can't do that. If there's, if it's true that there's no rule that says he can't do that, 
It's complete and utter dishonesty. It's just, it's what they did in Iowa. Yes, the it's big so controversy in Iowa, and it was true in Iowa. Yeah, I I actually gave Cruz the benefit of the doubt that it was not true. We were completely a hundred percent. I I was in the dark about 